In this video today, I want to give you one of the best hacks that you can use for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So in the past, I already made a video about power bins. And in this video, I only explained you what power bins are, how to use them. So basically, a power bin is here on the edit page. If you look here, I have power bins. If you're going to the three dots and you right click and you don't see the power bins, you can add them here by just giving this thing here, power bins. And now everything that I create, titles, videos, effects, transitions, if I want to reuse them in any project in the future, I can just drag and drop them in here to the power bins. So for example, here I have a sound effect that I always use. I have a title, I have some film grain, and that's something that I wanna show you later. I have them in here. So every time when I drag and drop this in, in every project, I don't have to bring this footage into my DaVinci Resolve. Okay, fair enough. I talked about this in the past, but now comes the kicker. So you can actually do a lot of customizations to those power bins elements. So what am I talking about? So let's say for example here, let's say you you drag and drop your logo and for whatever reason you every time you have to come in and then go here in the inspector and let's say you have you have to change some of the positionings let's say you, you always make it smaller and you put it somewhere in the corner let's say it's your logo or whatever but did you know you can actually do this even the step before you can come in here into the power bin click this one and now go in the inspector and if I do my settings my changes here do everything smaller and rotate everything to the corner like this and now this will be saved in my power bins so I can now drag and drop this file down here and it's already like it is but we are not stopping there let's say for example you use a sound effect all the time I have here a glitch effect and let's say for whatever reason every time it's too loud and you normally would come in select this one go to the volume and change the volume here down okay and every time you have to do this again you can do it already in the power bins I can click this one come in the inspector and change the volume here. So let's say it's minus 11. And now when I bring this into my timeline, it will already be applied with this effect. Or for example, we also created a film grain pack with eight millimeters, 60 millimeters, 50 millimeters, destroyed it in DCI up to 8K. It's a huge pack that we have. By the way, everyone who is in the masterclass gets all of our packs for free. It's a free bonus. And this is working like this. Let's say I want to put film grain on top of this <laughs> boring footage. I can now just drag and drop the film grain and then you would see something like this. Because it's DCI resolution, it's not completely like it's off a bit. So I had to go in here zoom in a bit and then I would go to the composite mode and change this one here to screen overlay is working as well then I can change with the opacity to make my grain as good as I wanted to but again you can do all of this already inside here I can click this clip and so let's do all of those settings already here so if I know I'm always using this DCI clip on top of a normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio I could now increase this one here go to the composite mode change this to overlay like this and now when I'm bringing this clip in it had already all of those settings applied and it's limitless what you can do with this basically everything that you can do here in the inspector you can do as a preset to your clips in the power bins and this is what makes this hack so amazing because that means you can create your complete own database of effects transitions overlays you can even make in and out points to your video clips if you have video clips in here and then save those in and out points you could put markers on when you drag them drop them down you have the markers immediately there so the possibilities are endless it's up to your workflow your imagination and this will make you so much faster in video editing even if you're using the iPad for DaVinci Resolve. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, I already teased that, that all of our packs are also included in the masterclass. So we have a DaVinci Resolve iPad masterclass where we teach everything from beginner to pro. If you want to learn everything about the color page, everything, we do a deep dive. No other class out there. They only show you the basic stuff. We go deep down into the settings that is sometimes not available, but we found hacks how to get them, like the pages and stuff like that. You will find all of this in the masterclass. So check out the link in the description. And I hope we see us in the next video. If you find this helpful, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding in -ding the bam-bang-gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.